I'm a widow. Do we have any widows in the house? Do we have any married people that wish they were widows? <laughs> At first I was bummed, but then I realized they'll never find the body. <laughs> Not having a husband comes in handy now, since I'm dating. I dated Rick, he had issues with his mom. She always tried to kill him. I made him a nice home-cooked meal. And he said, I can't eat this shit. It's not like my mom's. Finally, we got in a romantic mood. And we're ready to do the damn thing. And all of a sudden, he stops. I said, what's the matter? It's not like your mom's? I started online dating at widowsgonewild.com You're part of that club? President. A lot of guys there want someone to support them. I can't be a sugar mama. I can't even be a Splenda mama. <laughs> and every time I go on a first date, the guy wants to sleep with me. I'm just a sexual magnet. <laughs> I've got to tone this down. <laughs> The university will be back in session, which I'm happy about because it means my dating pool is returned. <laughs> I do date some older guys though. Like this one guy had a really nice smile and beautiful teeth. I just wish he had brought him with him on our date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I do date some of them. I feel more confident going out with an older guy, because if I go on a first date and the guy doesn't call, he's probably just dead. <laughs> All guys have really good sex toys like defibrillators. <laughs> oxygen masks. <laughs> and pudding. <laughs> I wanted to shape up. So I'm in day 89 of P90X. I expect big things tomorrow. <laughs> A friend of mine said to lose weight, you should take away something every week. So this week I took away lettuce. <laughs> then she said I should weigh something. Did you know a box of donuts weighs less than a cantaloupe? <laughs> As you probably have already guessed, I'm a world-class extreme sports athlete. <laughs> In a very dangerous sport, aging. <laughs> A lot of people don't want to play because of the prize. Death. 
Aging is the only sport that encourages drug use. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> And you know you're ready for the sport when you have to warm up to get out of bed in the morning. When your friends and family are asking you who you're going to leave your stuff to. I know. And there was another thing, but I can't seem to remember it. So I got my dream job suicide hotline. <laughs> the first guy calls and he says he wants to do himself in with drugs and alcohol. I said, that's not suicide. That's a party. <laughs> I get out at 11. What do you want me to bring? <laughs> The second guy calls and he says he's going to jump from a building. I said, well, what floor are you on? He said, third floor. I said, I don't think that's going to do it. <laughs> do you think you can get to the fifth floor or the roof? The third lady was the wrong number. <laughs> but she had a miserable life. <laughs> but she couldn't commit suicide because she's Catholic and they don't believe in that. I said, didn't you hear? The Pope changed all that. You're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> then I got my review. And I thought it would be good, you know, since the statistics were up. <laughs> but I got fired. <laughs> Apparently, it's a suicide prevention. Huh? <laughs> So I had to pack up all my things, my stairway to heaven to CD, my Dr. Kevorkian posters, and my scrapbooks of obituaries. The other day, this guy asked me if I was pregnant. I said, yeah, he's been in there 18 years. <laughs> A real mama's boy. <laughs> so I wanted to name him Henry. But he wants a real badass street name. So now I have to call him Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. <laughs> Sometimes that has to go around. <laughs> so I, I recently went by a restaurant and said hiring for all positions. So I applied for the missionary position. <laughs> but they would only Want, they only wanted to give me the compromising position, which I don't do. <laughs> so I got a lab at the local shelter, a yellow lab. Now sometimes labs can be dangerous. Like my neighbor down the street, his lab exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I wanted to enroll him in something useful, so I enrolled him in drug sniffing course, you know, just in case I ran out. I want to tell you what happened to me the other day. Now picture this. Close your eyes. No, really, close your eyes, sir. Okay, I'm in my nightgown, oh. in my bedroom, with no panties on. I lean over to make the bed, and my dog licks my asshole. Oh, she was so inappropriate, but I liked it. <laughs> I want to tell you why I hate heroin. Reminds me of my ex-boyfriend, an illegal from Afghanistan. He stole my money, estranged me from friends and family, and made, forced me to do degrading sex acts. Left me at a rail station unconscious. And then he says, he had nothing to do with it. It was someone else. They, heroin does not take responsibility. Like meth, okay, I blew up your building. It's part of doing business. Grass, oak. All right, your closet full of snacks is totally depleted. But you had a good time, right? <laughs> Have you ever had friends and they fall in love, they get married, they don't go out with their friends anymore, and they play Candy Crush? <laughs> well, I fuck their husbands. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Aunt Candy Crush. So ladies, have you ever had sex and the guy asks you, where'd you learn how to do that? What does he expect you to say? Poor school? <laughs> Uncle Leo? <laughs> Animal Planet? Uh, uh, yes. Bye. <laughs>